when European scientists first saw it, they thought it was a joke. In 1799, a specimen arrived in Britain, a mammal with the bill of a duck, the body of an otter, webbed feet, and a beaver's tail. Scholars laughed. Some tried to peel the bill off, convinced it had been stitched together by a prankster. They called it impossible, but the platypus was real, and it only got stranger the more we studied it. This animal lays eggs and yet produces milk. It has fur, but no nipples. Its bones resemble reptiles. Its bill isn't just a mouth. It's an electrical sensor capable of detecting the faint bioelectric signals of prey hidden underground or underwater. No other mammal hunts like this. And then there's the venom. Male platypuses carry spurs on their hind legs that inject a toxin powerful enough to paralyze dogs and cause excruciating pain in humans. Pain so intense it has resisted morphine. There is no anti-venom. Why would a mammal evolve venom? Even its genetics don't make sense. When scientists sequenced the platypus genome, they found traits scattered across evolutionary branches, bird genes, reptile genes, mammalian genes, all fused into one living contradiction. It has 10 sex chromosomes, not two. Its DNA looks like a biological compromise between worlds that shouldn't overlap. Charles Darwin himself admitted the platypus made him uncomfortable because it didn't fit. It challenged the clean, orderly idea of evolution. It felt unfinished or experimental. And here's the unsettling part. The platypus shouldn't exist anymore. Animals this specialized usually vanish when environments change. Yet the platypus has survived mass extinctions, ice ages, and millions of years of planetary upheaval, unchanged in its strangeness. Some biologists quietly refer to it as a living fossil. Others call it a glitch, a creature that slipped through the cracks of natural law. So when people say nature follows rules, the platypus reminds us those rules can be bent or broken. And maybe that's the most unsettling mystery of all. Because if evolution can produce this, what else has it hidden from us?